Hey everyone, Kevin here, and welcome back to another episode. So I've been having a love-hate relationship with Bloom's Taxonomy lately, and I suppose always have, even when I was a classroom teacher too. On the one hand, it's a great starting point for creating objectives, and even the best educators and instructional designers sometimes struggle with creating objectives. We all blink on how to phrase them sometimes to not only make sense, but be both easily digestible and actually measure if the learner met that goal. But I think that people, and by extension companies, take blooms way too literally. Just because you have words in your objective that are from the list doesn't mean they're good objectives. And your objective isn't necessarily bad if it doesn't contain words from blooms either. This is because blooms is a tool, not a style guide that you must follow to maintain the client's look during course development. We've all had companies too that tell us to add words from the taxonomy into objectives to overhaul them. And at best, that added nothing which would make the objectives better, and at worst, just made the objectives more confusing for the learner to decipher, or even change the meaning of the objective entirely. This happens in education too, where administrators had us dutifully write the objective on the board every morning that included words from Blooms on it, and we knew it wasn't a good one because it didn't address what we wanted the students to learn. It's not this sacrosanct thing that instantly makes things better in any environment. Plus, Blooms creates this illusion of a hierarchy when it comes to learning that doesn't accurately portray how people actually learn. That's because learning isn't a linear process where you learn every detail in a set order. There's more to it than that. This is the same reason why Addy is misrepresented in instructional design too, by the way, because there's no law governing that you can't go backwards in the steps of the process if you need to. The pyramid created by Blooms is again an interesting place to start, and the action verbs at each level can't be ignored because often they are applicable to the objectives you're writing, such as identify in the remembering category or explain in the understanding category. I mean, as long as you don't use understand itself in an objective, because that's probably one of the only offenses punishable by death in ID because it's so ambiguous. You simply can't measure the word understand. But I often glance at Blooms when I'm creating objectives, especially if I'm having bad writer's block that day, and it gives me an idea of where to begin. But I never use it as a, my sole way of creating objectives because it has a lot of flaws. Most of the learning you create as an ID will be on what Blooms calls the lower order thinking skills. But you can't classify learning in this way. Just because someone is creating something at what would be the top level of the pyramid, such a higher order thinking skill, doesn't mean they fully are able to do this process correctly on the job. IDs create a lot of onboarding courses where new employees need to learn the basics of the company and position in order to allow them to critically think and produce great results later. That doesn't make the learning less important. If anything, it's more important. Yet, in both ID and public education, they focus entirely on the application of ideas and creation of new ones rather than also being able to identify basic concepts first. Again, this focus on higher order over lower order. Sometimes you learn by doing, too, such as getting into beyond and dabbling until you gain the understanding of it as well. Learning is an exploratory process, not this clearly defined linear one. I've been rambling a bit, and maybe on a slight tangent now, but the point is that the action verbs you get out of Blooms are a good resource and tool, but they aren't the end-all be-all. You can have good objectives that don't include any words from the taxonomy at all, and you can have bad ones that do use words from this list. It's just vital to not take Blooms taxonomy too literally when creating objectives, and you'll be off to a good start. Well, guys, there you have it, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, let me know if you need any help, and please don't forget to click a like and subscribe to see my future content. But with that, I'll see you in the next video.